Sometimes people ask me, what do I do during the day? They say, you're a comedian, like, what do you do? You know, so I thought I would just pick one day from my life in this past summer and just talk about it. And that would be a good answer to that question. So here it is. It was really hot this past summer in New York where I live. I woke up and it was one of those really hot days. I decided I'd go to the beach, but it was too far. So I decided to go to Central Park instead. Besides, I hadn't been to the beach since the summer the synchronized swimming team drowned. It was tragic, but beautiful. <laughs> Apparently the leader got a cramp and they were pretty hardcore. <laughs> so I went to the park. When I got there, there were all these people lying out getting suntans. I like suntans, but I'm more interested in sunburns. Because the sunburn tells a story. Like, hey, that guy likes V-necks. <laughs> when I got to the park, I read a book cover to cover. It only took like two minutes, because I went around the outside. <laughs> I read a lot of books this summer, because I'm working on a book myself. I'm excited, because some authors write in first person, and others write in third person. I'm writing my book in fifth person. So every sentence starts with, I heard from this guy who told somebody. It's gonna be a long book, very gossipy. It's about a high school marching band that stays together after they graduate. It's called Never Get Laid. I left the park, I had some errands to run. It was my friend's birthday and I had to get him a card. But I was mad at him. So I put quotes around the word happy. <laughs> While I was walking, I came to a restaurant. So I grabbed a soda. It's where I used to eat all the time. But I stopped abruptly one day because I went to use their bathroom. I saw a sign that said, Employees must wash hands, especially Carl. I got back to my neighborhood, and there were posters everywhere. Somebody must have lost a dog. There were posters with the dog's picture, name, and personality traits on them. Like two blocks later, I thought I ran into the dog. And I said, wait a minute. This poodle is not gregarious. He seems introspective. <laughs> Never mind, this is the wrong dog. <laughs> Run along. Owning a dog in a city is like saying, my need for companionship outweighs my distaste for picking up shit. <laughs> I don't like shit, but I am lonely. I'm gonna get a German Shepherd and a shovel. I was in a department store, riding the escalator, and I tripped. I fell down the stairs for an hour and a half. When I got to the bottom, I got up and I went outside. I was on the street and I saw a friend of mine. All of a sudden, I hadn't seen in years, a guy named Dean. We went to high school together. Last time I saw him was like five years earlier when Dean and I were doing a roofing job together on top of a 40-story building. He started talking crazy that day, and he goes, I can't take it, man. And he got up on the ledge, and he jumped. Just after he jumped, I looked down, and I noticed that Trampoline Emporium was having a sidewalk sale that day. <laughs> Dean landed right on one of the trampolines, bounced back up 40 stories to where I was standing. And just as he floated up, he said to me, you know, I think a lot of your joke premises are contrived and hard to believe. <laughs> that pissed me off. Anyway, the other night I was playing Twister with some amputees. But that night, I went out to dinner with a friend of mine. 
He's also a comedian. He does art too. He makes icons for agnostics. They just look like regular icons. Except in every picture, God has this look on his face like... We were eating dinner and he said to me, if comedy doesn't work out, do you have a plan B? And I said, hell no. My plans are numbered. <laughs> and I said, someday, I'm gonna get an apartment right near Carnegie Hall. Then it'll be really easy to give people directions to my place. Practice, 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 and make a left. a big meal and I was so tired I went right home and uh, the next day I got a call from him I said how you doing he's like not so good that burrito did not agree with me and I said was the disagreement over how much you'd be crapping <laughs> let me guess who won <laughs> the burrito yeah I wanted to go out, but he insisted that I shit my pants. And I thought, God, you know, sometimes life is funny. <laughs>